Are you working in the steel and fabrication industry and looking for a solution for cutting intricate angles in your metal stock fast, cleanly, without compromise on blade life or tool durability? Well, stay tuned. We've got a real game changer for you right here. Hi everyone, my name is Al the Steel Guy and today I would like to present to you the Evolution S355 MCS, the industry's first 14 inch metal cutting mitering chop saw. This saw features the same heavy duty build quality of a cast aluminum chop saw with all the quick angle adjustments of a miter saw. So with that being said, let's get into it. If you're familiar with Evolution Power Tools products, you will know this company is a leader in the steel industry with a range of fantastic heavy duty tools in the market, from work tough chop saws to steel cutting circular saws and mag drills, all optimized for being the ideal solution to perform heavy fabrication work. But focusing back on this saw itself, it really is in a league of its own, being the first of its kind on the market. It's accurate. With a 46 degree mitering base both to the left and right, you can quickly and easily set up for precision miter cuts on all your metal stock. It's reliable. With a rock solid knurled rear fence combined with a selection of quick release front and top clamps, it can secure your workpiece tightly in place for repeat cutting of all common metal profiles. Ideal for effective production in the fab shop or workplace. And it's powerful. Its 15 amp high torque motor and gearbox system ensures it makes easy work of even the toughest material without compromise on cut quality. Half inch thick, four by four inch square tube stock or half inch solid flat bar, no problem for this saw. Before I give you an in-depth look at all of the features and specifications of the S355 MCS, you should also consider this saw is also a dry cut saw featuring the same cutting technology as the Evolution Power Tools range of metal cutting chop saws. The advantages of using such a machine to cut all your metal over alternative methods, such as abrasive saws, do become apparent after the first cut. With the S355 MCS, you don't require a hot work permit and it cuts cleanly, cool to the touch. This means you can instantly get straight onto welding. Unlike an abrasive saw, which cuts using friction, thus emitting dangerous sparks and heat, leaving a heavily burred finish. This requires cooling before you can even begin to grind the burrs square in order to get onto the welding. The S355 MCS simply saves time and money while emphasizing user safety in the workplace. Evolution Power Tools have produced an in-depth assembly guide video for this product, which can be found on the Evolution website. As you can see, there are mounting holes on the base of the tool here and here, on the front and also at the rear, for easy mounting to secure in place on your workbench for serious cutting. It weighs in at 77 pounds, so you can be sure of a solid and robust build quality, which has been designed to support bulky metal stock for the long term. First up, in order to get the saw ready for action, locate the headlock down pin, which is situated right here. Release like so to lift the head into position. A much smoother operation than the old chain locking mechanism on many chop saws. Now, you will have noticed the sliding rail the head is attached to. I must stress this is not to be used in the same method as a sliding miter saw. The glide rails are for quick release repositioning of the saw head in order to reposition the angle the head will hit the metal stock. This is essential to reduce the stress on your blade. If you require assistance on how to optimize your saw for maximum blade life using this feature, please visit Evolution Power Tools support video on best cutting practices on the S355 MCS, which can be found on the Evolution website. A locking pin can be located here, and once released, the head can be smoothly adjusted along the glide rails into each of the three set positions. This is a handy feature as chop saws commonly require vise adjustments using an Allen wrench in order to achieve the same action. So this is really going to save a lot of time on the job when working with multiple sizes of stock. This innovative glide rail and locking pin feature have been patented. Equipped to the saw is the famous Evolution 66 tooth 14 inch mild steel cutting tungsten carbide tip blade. This blade has been specially designed to run in tandem with the saw's powerful 15 amp high torque motor and gearbox system, which ensures the blade will run optimally so that the metal stock is cut cleanly and square every time. With accuracy, reliability, and power at the forefront of the design, this heavy-duty metal cutting mitering chop saw has been optimized to reduce material handling and make easy work of cutting your metal. At 90 degrees, it can cut all these materials to these capacities, cutting them all faster, cleaner, and safer than an abrasive saw. Now, while we're discussing the cutting, I would like to draw your attention to the base of the machine. 
It's been designed with a solid die cast aluminum base. The rotary table, which enjoys all the advantages of a miter saw, allows for toolless adjustment to cutting angles, giving greater accessibility of different angles. The saw will miter to both the left and right 46 degrees and features positive stops at 0, 15, 22.5, 30, and 45 degrees, allowing for swift access to all common cutting angles. At 45 degrees left, it will cut all these materials to these capacities. There's also this thumb lock lever here, so you can lock any specific angle between 0 and 46 degrees in place. At 45 degrees to the right, this saw is capable of cutting the same types of metal stock to these capacities. Another advantage of this mitering base is that no matter which angle you're cutting, the workpiece is always locked in place on the working area. Unlike a standard chop saw, whereas the vise is adjusted, so does the angle which the material is positioned on the base of the machine, which can cause issues when working with longer sections of metal. So all in all, alleviating this issue with other saws is a great upgrade of user safety that has been considered in the design process of the S355 MCS. On mild steel, this saw can cut to a thickness of half an inch, so ideal for cutting down common sizes of flat bar. A huge upgrade in the design on this saw is the innovative design to ensure safe and effective clamping of all shapes and sizes of metal stock. Housed at the front of the machine, this front clamp bar allows for the metal stock to be clamped anywhere along the full width of the base. Supplied with the saw are two quick release front clamps with a heavy duty Acme lead screw. These simply slide onto the clamp bar like so and can be moved along to the desired points to secure your metal. An advantage of the clamp bar is that you can clamp very close to the blade when cutting smaller or short lengths of stock, which can be problematic to clamp in place on chop or miter saws with fixed clamping positions. The front clamp feet design is knurled to ensure a better grip of the metal stock. Another great feature of this clamping bar is the ability to adjust the height of the bar itself. Simply loosen the thumb screws located here on the left and the right of the base, and the height can be raised or lowered in a variety of different height settings to best suit the safe securement of the stock being worked on. These height settings are easily manipulated through clear positive stops on the vertical posts. Once at the desired height, the screws can be locked in place. In addition to the front clamps, also supplied with the machine is this quick release top clamp. This can slide into any of these holes here behind the fence to further secure the workpiece. So, there are plenty of options to adjust the clamping setup of the S355 MCS to safely work with various sizes of square tube, rectangular stock, round pipe, angle iron, or rods. There are three V-block adapters also supplied which can be slid onto any of the front clamps or the top clamp. These are useful to give a firmer grip on some types of metal stock, from angle iron to square tube. This knurled design on the front clamp feet has been replicated on the heavy-duty back fence of the mitering chop saw. It's a great feature to work alongside the clamping system in securely gripping the workpiece. The build quality of this mitering chop saw emits ruggedness visually and in performance. Another feature of note on the base of the saw are these holes in the base, which give compatibility to use bench dogs as optional clamping accessories. These would be useful to enhance the clamping support if working with the regular shapes of metal stock, such as curved pipe. For user comfort, there's an ergonomic ambidextrous handle and trigger giving ease of operation for both left and right-handed users. There's a safety trigger here, which must be engaged in order to activate the saw. When cutting, the chip deflector, situated here on the saw, will come into play, shielding the user from any debris emitted whilst also ensuring mess around the workshop is suitably contained. For blade changes, there's onboard tool storage in the form of this handy Allen wrench. So, in addition to the supplied mild steel cutting blade, Evolution Power Tools also offers additional material-specific 14-inch tungsten carbide tip blades, which are also compatible with this saw. There's an aluminum cutting blade which looks like so. This blade has a specially designed kerf to avoid any clogging as aluminum is a soft metal and tends to want to bind into the kerf of the saw blades. So, if you're working with a lot of aluminum, this blade will alleviate this problem and give you a much improved user experience and better bang for your buck. There's also a thin steel cutting blade, which looks like so. It has a slightly slimmer kerf than the standard mild steel blade, so it will leave a really smooth and clean finish on all those smaller and thinner metal stocks. 
Lastly, there is a stainless capable blade, which looks like so. This blade is rated to effectively cut 302, 303, and 304 gauge stainless stock. Remember, stainless work hardens, so be sure to check out the Evolution Blade Best Practice video to get the most out of your stainless blade. Also, check with your metal supplier to double check the grade of stainless ordered before use. That's not all. Evolution Power Tools also offer a best-in-class three-year warranty with the S355MCS, giving you support from Evolution's world-class customer service team, should you require any assistance with the saw. Giving peace of mind, it will hold up on the toughest of fabrication jobs for the long term. And there we have it, the Evolution S355 MCS 14-inch metal cutting mitering chop saw and supplied mild steel cutting blade. A heavy duty game changer in the fabrication industry, being the first 14-inch mitering chop saw to hit the market. More accurate, reliable, and powerful than abrasive saws. Well, that's about it for me today. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you again on the next one.